Hey everybody, it's your girl girl. So you're bored, huh? You're scrolling, 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 and you need something to spice up your life. Well, look no further, because in this video, I'm about to drop some serious knowledge on you. Get ready for 12 fun hobbies every girl should try. And trust me, these aren't your grandma's hobbies unless your grandma is seriously cool. Let's get started. First up, we've got painting. Now before you say, but girl, I'm not an artist. Hold up, neither am I. But that's the beauty of painting, my friend. You don't have to be the next Frida Kahlo to have some fun with a brush and some color. Watercolors, acrylics, oils, heck, even finger painting if you're feeling adventurous. Trust me, there's something so therapeutic about just slapping some paint on a canvas and seeing what happens. It's like therapy, but cheaper. Next up, let's get physical. And I mean really physical, in the most fun and liberating way possible. And no, I'm not talking about that Jane Fonda workout tape your mum used to do. I'm talking about dancing. The kind that makes you feel alive, that gets your heart pumping and your spirit soaring. And the best part is, there's a dance style for everyone. Hip hop, get it girl, ballet, so graceful, salsa, ooh, spicy. Whether you're into the high energy beats of hip hop, the elegant moves of ballet, or the passionate rhythms of salsa, there's something out there that will make you want to move. Find a style that speaks to your soul and shake what your mama gave you. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Maybe you'll discover a hidden talent or a new favorite hobby. The possibilities are endless when it comes to dance. Not only is it amazing exercise, but it's also a fantastic way to express yourself and boost your mood. Dance allows you to tell a story, to convey emotions without saying a word. It's a universal language that everyone can understand. Plus, you can totally use those moves at the next wedding you go to. Imagine impressing everyone on the dance floor with your newfound skills. So put on your favorite music, let loose and dance like nobody's watching, because in that moment it's just you and the music and nothing else matters. All right, let's be real. Who doesn't love food? And who doesn't love the feeling of accomplishment when you create something delicious from scratch? That's right, I'm talking about cooking and baking. Forget those takeout menus and frozen dinners. It's time to get your hands dirty in the kitchen, experiment with new recipes, try exotic spices, and impress your friends and family with your culinary skills. And hey, even if it doesn't turn out perfect, at least you'll have a funny story to tell. Just kidding, kind of. Chapter four, get your green thumb on. Let's be real, who doesn't love fresh flowers? But buying them can get expensive. Why not grow your own? Gardening is like therapy, but with more dirt. Okay, maybe not, but it is super relaxing. Plus, you get to be at one with nature, even if it's just on your balcony. Tomatoes, herbs, succulents, the possibilities are endless. And the best part? You get to eat the fruits and veggies of your labor. Just watch out for those pesky squirrels. Chapter five, capture the moment. We live in a world obsessed with capturing the perfect Instagrammable moment, am I right? Every day, millions of photos are uploaded to social media, each one trying to outdo the last. But what makes a photo truly special? But photography is more than just selfies and food pics. It's an art form, a way to express yourself and share your unique perspective with the world. It's about finding beauty in the mundane and turning ordinary moments into extraordinary memories. It's about capturing the beauty around us, the big moments, the small moments, the moments we want to remember forever. Whether it's a breathtaking sunset, a candid laugh with friends, or a quiet moment of reflection, each photo tells a story. And you don't need a fancy camera to do it. In fact, some of the most powerful images are taken with just a smartphone. It's not about the equipment, but the eye behind the lens. Your phone is your best friend. With the advancements in smartphone technology, you have a powerful tool right in your pocket. Use it to experiment with different angles, lighting and compositions. So go out there and start snapping. Explore your surroundings, look for interesting subjects, and don't be afraid to take risks. The more you practice, the better you'll get. You never know what kind of masterpieces you'll create. Each photo is a chance to capture a moment in time, to freeze a memory that you can look back on and cherish. And hey, if you get a good one, tag me in it. I'd love to see your work and share in your creative journey. Remember, the best camera is the one you have with you, so make the most of it and capture the moment. Chapter six, Dear Diary, it's me again. In the age of social media, it's easy to forget the power of putting pen to paper. But trust me, journaling is like talking to your BFF, but without the judgment. It's a safe space to pour out your thoughts, your feelings, your dreams, your fears, everything. 
Write about your day, write about your goals, write about that weird dream you had last night. It's your journal, your rules. Plus, it's a great way to track your personal growth and look back on how far you've come. Just maybe hide it from your nosy little brother. Journaling can be a therapeutic practice, a moment of peace in a chaotic world. Imagine sitting in your favorite cozy nook, a warm cup of tea by your side, and just letting your thoughts flow onto the paper. It's a form of self-care that allows you to reflect on your experiences and gain insights into your own mind. You can also use your journal to document your travels, sketch your surroundings, or even jot down inspiring quotes and ideas. It's a versatile tool that adapts to your needs and creativity. And the best part? Looking back at old entries can be incredibly rewarding. You'll see how much you've grown, how your perspectives have changed, and you might even find some forgotten dreams that you're now ready to pursue. Another great practice is writing a gratitude list. Taking a few moments each day to jot down what you're thankful for can shift your mindset and bring more positivity into your life. It's a simple yet powerful way to focus on the good things, even on tough days. Don't forget to make your journal your own. Decorate it with stickers, doodles or photos. Personalizing your journal makes it even more special and a true reflection of who you are. So, dear diary, it's me again, embracing the art of journaling. It's a journey of self-discovery, creativity and growth. And remember, it's your story to tell, one page at a time. Okay, who else loves scrolling through Pinterest and seeing all those amazing DIY projects? But then you're like, yeah, that's cute, but I could never make that. Challenge accepted. DIY crafts are not just for Pinterest mums, my friend. They're for everyone. From decorating your room to making personalized gifts, the possibilities are endless. Plus, it's a great way to tap into your creative side and impress everyone with your mad skills. Just maybe start with something easy, okay? We don't want any Pinterest fails here. Chapter 8. Namaste in, stress out. Okay, let's be real. Life can be stressful. That's where yoga comes in. Yoga is like a massage for your mind, body and soul. It's all about finding your inner peace, your inner zen, your inner... You get the point. From hatha to vinyasa to ashtanga, there's a yoga style for everyone, even if you can't touch your toes. Trust me, after a good yoga session, you'll be feeling so relaxed and centered, you'll be like, stress. Who? Chapter 9. Escape to another world. In the age of Netflix and social media, it's easy to forget the simple pleasure of getting lost in a good book. But trust me, there's nothing quite like it. Reading is like Netflix for your mind. You get to escape into different worlds, meet new characters and live a thousand lives all from the comfort of your own couch. From romance to mystery to fantasy, there's a book out there for everyone. So put down your phone, pick up a book and let your imagination run wild. Chapter 10. Make some noise. Last but not least, let's talk about music. Music is like the soundtrack to our lives, am I right? But what if you could create your own music? Learning a musical instrument is not only impressive, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Piano, guitar, drums, ukulele, the possibilities are endless. And who knows, maybe you'll even start your own band. Just imagine, you could be the next Beyonce. Or maybe not. But hey, at least you'll be able to serenade yourself. Outro go out there and hobby. So there you have it, my friends. 10 fun hobbies every girl should try. Remember, life is too short to be bored. So go out there, try something new and have some fun. Who knows, you might even discover a hidden talent or passion. And hey, if you do, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Until next time, stay fabulous.